there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, it is Military Surplus Wednesday and we have the British Army Basha Tarp. I like this. This is a very good product. Now, already over the last couple of months, we've taken a look at a number of different tarps. Some very expensive, some very cheap. So we're gonna kind of continue along with that series while we take a look at this on a Military Surplus Wednesday, of course. Two birds, one stone. Let's get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. So right here is the stuff sack itself. I'll give you the measurements. This is 12 inches by seven inches. And of course the thickness is gonna depend on how you roll this up. But uh, I mean, the way that I have it right now, it's probably about four and a half inches thick. Maybe five up here at the top. I can go ahead and tell you that I absolutely hate this stuff sack. It's way too small for this tarp. Depending on how you roll up this tarp, you may not be able to get it to fit. Because of the reinforcements on the tarp itself, all of the fabric, if you roll that up in a specific way, it will make the tarp way too thick to even fit through the hole here. So if you get one of these tarps, I highly suggest and recommend that you get a new stuff sack because this thing is just too dang small. It really is. All right, we might as well get this out and take a look at the tarp now. We're gonna do a quick set up here so you guys can see this thing all spread out. As you can see here, it does have that desert camo pattern, which I like personally. I don't mind this at all. I have some desert camo clothing, which I think is pretty cool. So I don't mind this, not in the least a little bit. Now, when it comes to weight, you were looking at two pounds, five ounces on my scale. Now, when it comes to the measurements, you're looking at eight feet, three inches by six feet, 11 inches. So here we go guys, all set up. Now this tarp has some very, very impressive features. As you can see here, you have tie outs and grommets. Awesome. A quarter of the way down, you have a grommet. You don't have a tie off. In the middle, you have a tie off and a grommet. And then again, of course, grommet followed by both of them. You have 16 grommets on this tarp itself. You have eight tie-off points. You also have a tie-off in the middle of the tarp. So you could tie this to a tree and create your shelter that way. Now, as you might be able to see, the seam here has been sealed and it has been sealed very, very well. This is the inside of the tarp. Now take a look at this, guys. Here across one of the rims, you have this reinforced fabric. It is very, very tough. So you have like a handle right here. Fabric all the way across. Another one of those handles. Handle, handle. Going down to the middle here. Across that seam on the inside of the tarp, you have that handle again. You have a tie off point here. Handle, handle tie off point handle and then at the end you have the same thing you have that fabric and those handles all the way across so my friends what you are looking at here basically are suspension points you can attach multiple tarps together to create one gigantic shelter you can use these points to make a makeshift like a mosquito mesh enclosure so you protect it from bugs and so on let me just go ahead and tell you that this tarp is awesome it really is it comes in at two pounds five ounces so it's not very lightweight and i have to say that the fabric along the top the ridge and at the bottom does make it very difficult to fold up so that it fits inside of this stuff sack you really have to be careful because if you get this fabric overlapping with another it becomes too thick and it will not fit inside of this stuff sack i recommend that you say goodbye to this thing it's just too much of a problem to get it back inside of that storage sack get something larger do yourself a favor this is what i consider a tarp done right it has every single attachment point that you can possibly need you have tie-offs you have grommets you have them in quarters on the tarp fantastic you have the attachment point in the middle of the tarp on the outside so you can attach it to a tree and you can create a number of different setups using that alone you have the tie-offs in the middle here on the ridge, so you can attach your bug netting and so on. For myself, this tarp has seen a lot of use, and with the British military, it has definitely seen a lot of use as well. Afghanistan, Iraq, and so on. You guys actually saw this tarp in the Bushcraft Overnight Adventure 2, 
which uh, was very popular, guys. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. But this is just a fantastic tarp. Yes, you can go lighter weight. There's no doubt about that. With all this additional fabric and reinforcements here, suspension points, it does add some weight to it. So if you're going out for a short hike, this will do fine. If you're going out for some distance, you could definitely go lighter weight. There's no doubt about that. Now when it comes to price, very, very inexpensive. I paid $40 for this tarp right here. I did have to have it imported from Britain, and I think I paid five bucks to have it shipped. So I think it was like $35 for the tarp itself, $5 to ship it, and I got that on eBay. So if you're interested in one of these, just take a look on eBay. You will find tons of them. And like I said, they come in multiple different camo patterns. Now you may be wondering, can you use it with a hammock? And you can. Now personally, I like to have a longer tarp for hammock use, but you can definitely make it work if you keep it nice and close to protect yourself from the rain. So is it expensive? Nope. Is it lightweight? No, not really. Is it waterproof? Yes. Is it balmer? Absolutely. Will it last you a lifetime? There's no doubt about it. The value for this tarp is off the charts. It really is because it has every single feature in a tarp that you could possibly want or need. Let's break it down now. Now, as you can see here, this is the desert camouflage pattern. There's also a woodland pattern and a multicam version. The material is PU coated ripstop polyester. Here's a close up of all of that nylon reinforcement along the edges and on the middle, the ridge there. As mentioned, this is military surplus. Shelter sheet desert. There's the NSN number. Oh yeah. 8415-99-360-4782. So as I mentioned, folks, when you go to fold this thing up, if you take this tarp and you match up end to end and fold it up and roll it up, it will not fit back in that stuff sack because you have that fabric, that nylon reinforcement on both sides and it just makes it too big. I went ahead and I rolled this up with the straps facing each other and you could see just how big this thing is. With that being said, there is no way to get this to fit inside of this. I highly recommend that you get rid of this and replace it with something better because this is just, it's too difficult to roll up every single time, especially if the conditions are really, really windy. You would not wanna be sticking this inside of that. If you're the type of person who likes to roll up your tarps, get a bigger stuff sack. It will save you tons of aggravation, trust me. Now I'm taking this tarp and just kind of cramming it into the stuff sack just to see if it would fit that way. That's not something I, I have tried yet. I'm more of a fan of rolling up my tarps than just cramming them in there. I sure am glad I'm not in a wartime situation where I have to uh, worry about cramming this in there, you know what I mean? So yes, it does fit just barely. This thing is stuffed to the max. Looks kind of weird, but I, that, that's all right. <laughs> so my friends, for our look at the British Army Basha Tarp, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, be well.